Especially when she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it Hello my darlings, how you all doing? Hope you're all okay. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, a massive welcome to you. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back. In today's video, I am just off down the town to do my grocery shop. It's Saturday. Um, we've got um, my stepdaughter coming tomorrow for lunch. So, yeah, I'm going to go down the supermarket and do my grocery shop. Because I haven't done really any grocery shopping this week at all. Uh, I've only got, like, bread and, you know, the necessities. So, yeah, I really need a top-up of food in my fridge. Um, because I've been trying to use up stuff out the freezer and that, do you know what I mean? Because at the moment I've got three freezers going and there's just absolutely no need for three freezers for just me and Les. So we've been trying to use up some stuff out of the one so we can shut it down. Um, so yeah, I'm uh, just getting fridgy bits really. Um, I'm going to cook a roast dinner, so yeah, some nice veg and yeah, uh, just some food shopping really. So, uh, I'm going to head down to the town and then when I get back, I will show you what I've bought. I'll do it. So, this is going to be my um, weekly grocery shopping haul video. Okay, so I hope you enjoy. Grab a cuppa, put your feet up and I'll see you in the kitchen when I get back. Okay, see you in a bit. I've just come out of Tesco's and I thought that I would let you know that... Um, a lot of the stuff in Tesco's, you know, all the summer stuff like... Um, the tableware for the garden and the solar lights, summer clothing, all that kind of stuff is being reduced to clear. I'm presuming it's because they're going to be getting their autumn fall stuff in very, very soon. I mean, we are, you know, approaching the middle of July. So I just thought I'd quick jump on and let you know that that's the case in Tesco's. So I've got my bit of grocery from Tesco. I am now gonna go to Aldi just to pick up a few more bits. Uh, yeah, I just thought I'd let you know. So I'll see you in, uh, in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm back home now in the kitchen, ready to show you what I got from the supermarket so i've been to three i've been to tesco aldi and morrison's i always have a little trip around when i go out and do my grocery shopping because i like stuff from one place and not the other so yeah i always shop around but we'll start with morrison's because i got the least from there so i got me specs oh that could do with a clean <laughs> right first thing i got from morrison's were two packs of sage and onion stuffing and that was 75 pence per pack then i got one of these milks for les he loves this stuff this graham's gold jersey milk and this was one pound 65 they do sell it in morris in tesco's but he prefers the morrison's one because the the one in tesco's the cream is that thick on the top you can't get the milk out so yeah he likes the morrison's one one pound 65 then I got two packs of reduced cakes. I oh, know. <laughs> so these are strawberry and cream jam donuts, reduced from two pound to one pound forty. So I got a pack of those, and I got less some cream jam and cream horns, and they was reduced from two pound to one pound twenty. I also got this for our lunch to, after our lunch tomorrow. Uh, a double chocolate gâteau. Now I did go in for one of the big chocolate sponges, fresh cream and chocolate sponge. They hadn't got any. They'd only got the small ones and yeah, we like a big one. <laughs> so I got this instead and this was £3, double chocolate gâteau. So I'll just leave that out the freezer, that'll defrost for tomorrow. And then the last thing from Morrison's, I've got one of my favourite loaves and it's the wheat spelt and rye. This is beautiful and it was £1.19. So that's everything that I got from Morrison's. Right, we will do Aldi next. Got some 
white buns because I'm going to do mainly some burgers tonight. We normally have a chicken burger and a fish burger. Really gone off beef burgers, don't know why. But yeah, so we have a chicken burger and a fish burger and some salad. So that's for our dinner tonight. And those were 69 pence for the backs. Then I've got some of this salt and vinegar savouries. And they were, I think they've gone through twice. £1.25 yeah they've gone through twice and I've only got one unless something else was £1.25 and it went through as that £1.25 for them anyway bloody self-service checkout Chockums one nineteen. Les likes those uh, some chocolate peanuts I'm doing it in order of the uh, receipt which is easier chocolate peanuts 85 pence i love those uh ginger nuts some ginger nuts and they were 59 pence for the ginger nuts chocolate malted milk my favorite one pound nine love those some dark chocolate digestives for les 77 pence some of these cookies and cream really like these they are 45 pence caramel bars one pound 35 some real vine tomatoes regal not real <laughs> regal vine tomatoes and they were one pound 19 on the super six some pink lady apples, £1.49 on the Super 6. They're really nice apples. Les likes those. I do like apples, but they don't like me. I get real bad um, indigestion off apples. Um, Jersey Royals to put on the dinner tomorrow. Thought they'd be nice on the side. Uh, £1.9 for the Jersey Royals. Well, that's that bag done. Unsmoked double pack of bacon. And that was one pound, no, two pounds seventy nine for the bacon. Gravy granules, onion gravy granules. These are so nice. I don't have anything else now. And they were one pound nine. Love those. Double cream to go over the gatto. And that was one pound five pence. Washing up liquid was 69 pence and I've got three of those to put in my stock because I'm on my last one. So I've got um, pomegranate, lemon and original, 69 pence. Astonished toilet cleaner, 69 pence in eucalyptus scent. Astonish white vinegar. £1.25 two packs of the specially selected Yorkshire puddings and they were £1.99 each there is six large ones in there there for the dinner tomorrow then I got some chicken quarter pounders these are for tonight £1.89 those they used to be 99 pence um, Biscoff Lollies, £1.49. Now, I tell a lie, these was one one eighty five for those. Then, all of these, I've got three different ones. It was one forty nine each. So I've got salty caramel. They're just like magnums. They're lovely. Uh, mint chocolate and almond. So that is everything that I got from... I'll do. Let me just put this bit of frozen away. Okay, I've put all that away. <laughs> Might as well. Uh, Tesco's. So, I've got 24 cans of Pepsi Max. I mean, I do prefer Coke, but I buy it when it's on offer and I've got Coke today. So, those were £6 on the club card for 24 cans. How good is that? I also got these super soft pillowcases. Two pairs. £1.50 a pair. So I thought, you know what, you can never have too many like neutral pillowcases, can you? So I got two pairs of those 
for £1.50. Okay, let's get into this bag. Right, I've got a floppy lettuce. What do they call these now? Butter sweet. Butterhead. Butterhead lettuce. 80 pence for the butterhead lettuce. I also got a Savoy cabbage, and the Savoy cabbage was 75 pence for the Savoy cabbage. I've got a piece of pork for dinner tomorrow. So I've bought a um, British pork boneless shoulder. That was £7.23 for that piece of pork, which I didn't think was too bad. Um, I was going to get like an extra large chicken because there's four of us. Um, but it was, I think it was £5.25 for a chicken and I thought for a change we'll have a piece of pork. So I've got a piece of pork. Picked up one of these while it was on offer, £1.50. Some white pepper, 85 pence. Some Danish blue cheese, £2.50. Aromat seasoning. This on your roasters is the one. Game changer. I think that was £1.80. Let me just check. £1.90 for the seasoning. I got a bag of red potatoes. £1.60. Some carrots. I think they was 52 pence, the carrots. Let me just check. I'm not going in order on this one. I should have done, shouldn't I? 52 pence, yeah. Some easy peelers. The... Oranges were £1.29. A hand of bananas, they were 93 pence. Some peaches, they were a pound on offer. And some grapes, they were £1.50 for the grapes. So that's that bag. Last bag. I've got two Pringles, because they were still on offer, £1.45, sour cream and cheese and onion, so I've got two of those. I've got some baby broad beans, is there any more frozen in here? No. The broad beans were £1.60 for the broad beans. Les likes those on his dinner. I've got these, a sharing pack of knickknacks. These were £1.25. I've got less some sweet chilli and sour cream, kettle crisps, he likes those. They was £1. I think they might have been £1.50. Let me just check. £1.35 for the kettle crisps. I also got uh, me and Les a bar of chocolate. So I've got this one. It's Cadbury Dairy Milk and More. Caramel Nut Crunch, I thought I'd try that one for a change, two quid. And I've got Les Fruit and Nut, two pound. I've got a Warburton's, one pound forty. And I also got a multi-seed, uh, let me just check, I've just seen that. Um, multi-seed, one pound five. And that is everything that I got today in my shopping. I think I did quite well. In Tesco's... I spent £44.62. My savings were £18.89 with the club card. Because, I, let's have a look how much these should have been. They should have been uh, £6 each for two. And I got them for £1.50. So I saved... Uh, nine quid there straight away so those were my savings at tesco's in morrison's i spent 10 pound 54 and in aldi i spent 34 pound and 68 pence uh but i charged myself twice for the bloody um salt and vinegar things now i'm not going to prove that i didn't have to i'm not going to be able to am i so oh well so that is everything, my darlings. I do hope you've enjoyed this little grocery haul. Um, I will see you all on Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday's video will be a vlog. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you've had a great weekend. You'll be seeing this on Monday. Um, 
as I said, we've got visitors Sunday and then a lot of this snacky stuff I've bought because I think we're going up the boat yard for a few, ja few days, although it has forecast rain all week. So we will see. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's raining when we go up the boat yard because we're inside, but it is better when the weather's nicer. But we haven't been up for a few weeks, so yeah, we might go up um, Monday, but yeah. I'll take you with me if I do go or do anything interesting. So, if you did enjoy this little video, just a quick one today, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe down below. If you haven't already, it'd be great to have you join the channel and I will see you all in Wednesday's vlog. I love you guys loads. Turn